Okay. Meanwhile, the Baltimore City State's Attorney will not pursue criminal charges against those seven protesters who were arrested yesterday morning after that month-long sit-in on the campus of Johns Hopkins University. WMAR 2 News' Mark Roper is live at the Homewood campus there in North Baltimore. So, Mark, what is the reaction from administrators and some of those students? Good morning, Christian. Well, the university president and provost say they want to meet with students sometime after final exams and before summer starts, while some protesters say they won't stop fighting a private police force here. Now, it was early Wednesday morning when police arrived on campus to end the student occupation of Garland Hall. The protest began about a month ago, but last week, students changed themselves inside the building, causing the situation to escalate. The protesters are concerned about the university's plans to move forward with its own private police force. Governor Larry Hogan recently signed a bill into law making it possible for Johns Hopkins to hire 100 armed officers to patrol its campuses, hospital, and surrounding neighborhoods. And while officials say the goal is to keep the campuses and community safe, the protesters are worried about how the private police force would affect their own safety. I don't want those people to have guns because I know who they would use them against. And that is me. <laughs> that is other black and brown people. It is people with disabilities, it is people going through challenges, it is people that they don't know and aren't qualified to de-escalate. And while administrators say they want to continue the conversation with students, we haven't heard yet if any of those student protesters will face expulsion or any type of academic punishment. We're live in North Baltimore. Mark Roper, WMAR 2 News.